is Jeff Dumbrell, the broker of Steel Bridge Realty, here to talk about the Cape Coral residential lot trends. All the data was exported from the MLS into Excel and trended. I did the export on July the 21st of 2014. Disclosure, this is my work done for me and shared with you. Uh, while we think it's accurate, uh, it is not guaranteed. Here's a chart of all lot types, uh, average and median price going back to 04 all the way to today really gives you a snapshot of what we went through in uh, relation to the market. Shorter view since 08 because the 04 and 05 and even most of 06's activity was really 05 and 06 was a mania. 04 was just really good market. But the 05 and 06 data will really confuse you because without the banks just giving out easy loans again, I don't think we're going to see those prices without a huge ramp up in demand. But gives you an idea, uh, 08 was, uh, to 09 was a sharp drop. Market started taking off and in 11 it took another hit and that was the effects of the BP oil spill because the Cape Coral land market reflects the optimism of the southwest Florida market and the BP oil spill causing people to uh, step back. And then from there, it's just been right up. What's neat is the median and the average are starting to get closer, which is a uh, balanced market. Money in motion. It's fascinating to see when you put in uh, five, <laughs> how much money actually moved in the market. If you took it out, it's actually uh, a much uh, different view. Freshwater lots. This is the longer view back to 04. Shorter view recently, uh, they jumped up pretty good in 2013. Uh, they're still getting some very slight price appreciation, but that is flattening out as well. Saltwater lots, shorter view, nice run recently on saltwater lots since 2012. This is the uh, complete from 06 forward, uh, gives you an idea of what the market did. And again, this is a shorter view again. Dry lots. Dry lots have uh, really flattened out as well, just like freshwater lots. But this is a slightly shorter view. We're basically given right back to uh, where we started the sharp declines, which was from 08 to 09. And understand, all these corrections are as a valley. And then in every valley, there's a ditch where you have really sharp. Uh, usually, it gives it back pretty quick. And then once the sentiment changes, it picks some of that back up. Notes, most lot prices or most lot types have regained their 08 uh, pricing and I'm seeing price appreciation trends appear to be flattening out. Uh, what's going to change this next is easy leverage and increased demand. Those are what I'm watching. If you're thinking of buying or selling a Cape Coral lot, why don't you give me a call at 239-694-3300 and hit extension 102. Thanks for watching.